let me define uh, these cells with unique name for this go to formula in the formula click on define name now define name window will appear in front of you so name cutoff is selected because we have entered cut off in the adjacent cell the same text is been taken up as the unique name second you have to define the scope it is recommended that you use the current sheet where you are working as a scope so i am working in sheet 1 so i am selecting sheet 1 comments if you want to give the comment you can give the comment otherwise keep it blank it refers to since i have already selected this cell i1 the reference is already there that is i1 the click ok now select the next sheet that is i2 once again click to define name it has taken the name hp because that text is there in the adjacent cell scope sheet 1 click ok do it for low price select i3 define name lp scope sheet 1 click ok Define name is very handy and useful feature available in Excel. These names you can use in the formula. Defining name helps you to understand the formula very easily. These names refers to absolute cell address. So you do not need to use dollar sign. Now let us compute the price paid by using if formula. So if units are less than equal to cutoff value then the units multiplied by high price if not in that case up to cutoff value we have to charge high price so i am selecting cutoff value multiplied by high price now plus now we have to find out the remaining units so the units minus cut off value now we have to put this into the bracket multiplied by low price now close the bracket hit enter now copy this formula into the remaining cell. Now let us calculate the consumer surplus. Now consumer surplus is nothing but the cumulative value minus price paid. So cumulative value minus price paid. Hit enter. So we have computed consumer surplus associated with each of the unit purchased now i want to know a maximum consumer surplus value use max formula so now in m1 we have maximum consumer surplus value now we want to find out the units purchased corresponds to this maximum consumer surplus value so let me use the combination of two formula if and match so if this maximum consumer surplus value is greater than zero now use the match function Now look of value is maximum consumer surplus in the array that is the same column m select all consumer surplus values comma select zero because we want exact match close the bracket and uh, now complete the if formula by entering 0 at the end.
close the bracket hit enter so that's uh, 12 units uh, purchased by this consumer you can verify where the 31 is you can see 31 here in this row that is uh, 18th row and the corresponding units purchase is 12. so now i want to find out the revenue from uh, this consumer revenue for this 12 units so let me compute the revenue here to find out the revenue corresponds to the unit purchased i am using v lookup formula so v lookup lookup value is unit purchase 12 comma now table array is i7 to l26 comma now column index number i want the price paid value to be returned in this sale so therefore if you look at in this the defined table array price paid is in fourth column so therefore i am entering here four comma i want exact match so i am selecting false close the bracket hit enter so now you have a revenue 53 now in next step i need to compute the cost associated with this uh, 12 unit purchase so let me calculate the cost here cost is unit purchased multiplied by per unit cost which is available in f8 sale i am selecting f8 sale hit enter so it is 24 now i want the profit no profit let me have it in this cell the for profit formula is very simple revenue minus cost so m3 minus m4 now this is my profit <coughs> now we are ready to use the solver click data click solver now we have to maximize the profit so in set objective field you have to enter m5 the objective is maximized by default it is selected so keep it as it is now in by changing variable cell select cutoff high price and low price that is i1 to i3 now we also need to define some constraint so let us define the constraint click add so the first that is cutoff value now this cutoff value must be greater than equal to one click add let me also give a upper limit to this cutoff value that is it should be less than equal to 20. i have taken that maximum value of a number of units which we have taken you can take up any any value no issue at all but this value should not exceed the maximum number of units which you have considered click add one more thing i need is that i want uh, this value to be integer so it should not be in decimal point so i am once again selecting the cell reference that is i cut off i1 and here i am selecting int that is integer now click add I also want the high price and low price to be more than one. It should not be zero. So I am selecting both at a time. That is I two and I three, and this value should be greater than equal to one. Click add, and similarly, let me give some maximum limit for this. So this values for high price and low price should be less than equal to. I am taking a 50 here. You are quite aware that uh, these values are based on the cost of production as well as prevailing market prices. So now click OK. Now all the constraints have appeared in the constraint box. Now check whether the solving method is evolutionary or not. If it is not, select evolutionary and keep a remaining thing as it is click on solve 
solver results are available click okay now you can see the solver has determined the cutoff value 8 high price hp estimated is 10.1 low price is 1.92 if you compare the profit using linear pricing strategy interestingly the profit has doubled as compared to the linear pricing strategy so by adopting non-linear standard quantity discount pricing companies can increase their profit 